morning, Tamariki Ma. Hey, before we start the show, while we're waiting for people to sign in, I just want to, um, I was just talking to my friend, this is Sydney Shark, and um, just chatting to him about stuff. And um, do you want to say a quick hello to the boys and girls, Sydney Shark? Use your nice, use your nice words, say hello nicely. Hello nicely? No, 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 just say hello properly. Hello properly. Are you being a silly sausage? No, I'm not a sausage. I'm a shark. Oh, of course you are. Hey, before we go, um, a quick hello to my friend Kelly in Australia. Do you want to say hello to Kelly, the Jonah in Melbourne? Say hi, Kel. Hi, Kelly. How are you? Oh, very good. Well, look, I'm just going to pop um, Sydney Shark back into his tank and then we can start the show. All right, so say goodbye. Bye. Bye, boys and girls. Right, I'll just pop you away in your tank there. Oh, that's really, really cool. Very good, very good. Okie dokie, right. <clears throat> well, good morning, Tamariki Ma, and hello to the mums and dads. Welcome to Zappo's Magical Pirate Show. So when we're pirates, children, you take your hand like this, and you go, oh -ah! Can you do that for me on the count of three? No, you have to have an ugly pirate face like this. Go like that. Good. Go like that. Deep breath and go, oh -ah! Oh, that's better. And hi to Pirate Ellie in Stokes Valley. Oh, you've got your pirate hat on. Good on you, Ellie. Right. Well, before we start the pirate magic, um, let's do the birthday shout outs. I've got a big list here. Oh, I've got so many people to get through this morning. <clears throat> a lot of birthdays this weekend, children. And it's a beautiful day out. And it's a nice day in Zapoland where I live. So, first of all, let's do some birthday shout outs. Um, Kaya Rose, who's four. Happy birthday, Kaya. Um, Marta Darcy, you're turning three. Ira, you were six yesterday. And um, I hear that some of your friends dropped a couple of presents in your letterbox. How kind. That's really nice of um, your friends to do that for you. Um, Anna May, you're four. Hi, Anna May. Hope you're well. Ava Salmon, who's turning seven. And um, I think you know your... I know your uncle and auntie Karen and Trevor Salmon in Taradale. So small world we live in, isn't it? Um, Cameron, you're turning nine. Um, happy birthday, Cameron. Millie Douglas, um, you're from Stanhope Road School in Auckland. You're turning seven, and I hope you're well, Millie. Um, Tipaki Karihoma Matalasi, you're turning nine today. Um, happy birthday to you. Nine, goodness gracious. How you grow up, eh? Um, Rock Stunt, um, she's 49. Oh, sorry, four plus nine. It's a magic age, isn't it? <laughs> Austin Fletcher turning nine as well. And hi to your mum, Dawn. Ruby Clark, you're turning four. And that's love from mummy, daddy, sister Maddie that send their love to you. So have a nice day, Ruby. Thomas Wrighton, you're turning nine. Elizabeth Church's daughter's turning four. I didn't actually get her name, so um, Elizabeth Church's daughter that's turning four, happy birthday. Um, Poppy, you're turning five. Um, your mum's from Pump Down Studios. Hi, Libby, hope you're well, and have a nice day, Poppy. Um, Levi, you're turning four. Hello to your mum, Tash. Sophie Bear, you're turning five. The big five. Zach Della, who's 11. Janus, you're turning four. Um, I hear that um, this is the second birthday that was cancelled. I think your birthday was cancelled last year. So, look, um, you know, have a nice day, Janus. And, um, you know, we have to make the best of the situation we're in. So, a big smile. Elliot, um, you're turning eight on Sunday. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. You are eight. Um, I remember you from Mill Street Kindergarten when you were five. Gosh, that's three years ago. How you've grown up. I hope everyone's well in Martin. And if Jennifer's watching, hi Jennifer. That's Granny Grotto. She runs the best um, Christmas grotto in the whole wide world in Martin. Stella Hawker, um, you're four. You had to cancel your party because of the COVID. But, um, you know, have a good day, Stella. Uh, <clears throat> Bindi, you're turning two. Love mum, dad and your sisters, Kendall and Elsie. 
Isabella Roberts from Palmerston North, um, your birthday on, was on the 19th, and that's love from your big brother, Elijah. So I hope, hope you have a nice day, Isabella. Hi to Abigail and Connor from Featherston, and hello to Michelle, their mum. Hope you guys are well. Hope everything's well down in feathers today. Hi to all the Busy Bees children from the Child Care Centre in Upper Hutt. Hello, hope you guys are well. And um, I've got some fun stuff coming up and some educational stuff tomorrow because tomorrow's Monday and we're back to um, using our imagination. We're back to school. So um, watch out that space. Um, Shia Hogue, um, you're seven. Oh, that's right. You had a magical birthday cake. Your mum sent me a picture. Oh, my gosh. I need to buy one of those cakes or make it. So good on you. It looked absolutely wonderful. Please save me a crumb. Grace Shearer is 18 today. Oh, God, the big 18 from brother and sister Luke and Alice. Happy birthday, Grace Shearer. Hi to Connor and Paige in Upper Hutt. Hello to Ari Morgan, who's turning five from Roslyn Kindergarten. One of my kindergartens I visit in Palmerston North. So hi, guys. Hi to all to the Kyoko there, if you're watching. Um, hello to Arthur, Annabelle, Nathaniel and baby sofa, uh, baby sofa, baby Sophie. Um, thanks for watching. Now, Arthur, I hear yesterday that you fell off the couch laughing. So I thought what I'll do is I've got this. See one of these? I'll give it you now and then you can tie yourself to the couch so you won't fall off. So, are, are you ready? Catch. You got it? Great, Arthur. Right. Hi to Jess Reynolds too. Hello Jess, hope you're well. Um, happy birthday Harper Lee that's turning five. Um, are we, you were nine yesterday, that's from your cousin Jackson. Oliver McCormack, um, you were seven from Fielding. Um, that's hi from mum, dad and brother Ashton and sister Harper. So um, I may have missed you yesterday so I do apologise. Theo Farfoy. <coughs> I have a message from your mama and dada. Thank you for being their best boy. So I hope you're well, Theo. I had the pleasure of meeting you recently, I think, at Blue School in Greytown, if I remember rightly. That's right. Um, a big shout out to Emily and Taylor Mills. Hope you guys are well. Um, Kristen Riley's birthday yesterday. So um, hope you had a nice birthday, Kristen. Reese Davies, um, your six from Gladstone. That's from Nana, Kelly, Nathan and Morgan. Happy second birthday, Bindi. Love mum and dad and sisters, Kendall and Elsie. So we're halfway through. How exciting. Right. Another big birthday to Hannah Wilton, six from Hamilton. Hope you guys are well up in Hamilton. Harvey Gilmore. Um, you Apparently you're four on Tuesday. So I will mention, mention you again on Tuesday. Um, James for Olivia Six have the drawings. Oh, that's right. Um, your mum sent me a couple of drawings um, yesterday from James and Olivia. I thought they were hilarious. I love my head. So thank you for that. That was really kind of you to do that. Um, Coda Selkirk, you were two yesterday. Happy birthday for yesterday, Coda. Eden, three years old. Love mum and dad and Jayla. Um, Daisy Kelly, your three, love mummy, daddy, Oscar and Leo. Um, Zephyr Grieg, who's six. Um, hi to your mum, Danielle Burry from Featherston. And um, apparently you like rabbits and dinosaurs. And I, your mum used to love guinea pigs too, if I remember rightly. Hi guys, and I hope you have a nice day, um, Zephyr. Um, we've got... Uh, Tempany Reeves at six and her new baby brother Roxon in Nelson. So hello to you guys. Arla Willow Allen, who's turning five. Hi to Varsha, who has a birthday today in Johnsonville. Hi, Varsha. Sorry I can't come to your party, but, um, you know, our paths will cross. And the next school holidays um, in October, I'm at Johnsville Shopping Centre. So I'm doing my magical wizard show. So come and say hello. All right. And hi to all the people in Johnsonville. Um, almost there, guys. So thank you for your patience. My mum always says waiting nicely is good patience. So you guys have great patience. Reva Heath from Whitby, who's six yesterday. So hope you had a nice birthday. Madison Cheney was seven yesterday. Carter Walker was five yesterday. 
and a big shout out to Dean Preston from Westmere School in Wanganui, my hometown. Um, Stella Hawker, who's four, happy birthday. Lachlan, who's three. Um, Lachlan Gray from Waikanae, so happy birthday, Lachlan. And a big pirate's birthday to John Stamp, who originates from Somerset, where the soy apples grow. So happy birthday, John. Because, um, yeah, the accent's a bit like a pirate. He's my lovely neighbour that lives around the corner. Um, a shout out to Grace in Dunedin and all the Beanie Boos. And hi to Pip and Gareth and Oliver. Hope you guys are well. Um, Ruby and Kira from Mungaroa. Hello, shout out to you guys. Emily, that's turning six. Um, Isaac Broadmoor. Oh, that's right. Your mum sent me a little video yesterday on Messenger of you laughing hysterically. So thank you. It makes this all what I do worthwhile. So thank you for that. Lovely to see children laugh. That's what it's all about. Um, a shout out to Jamie Reynolds from Lower Hut. That's seven. Um, oh, you love dogs. Now, your mum was saying that you love dogs. Well, tomorrow I'll introduce my three dogs. I've got three dogs and um, you can say hello to them before we start the show. So tune in tomorrow, um, Jamie, and you can see my lovely doggies. Archie Mills, your four. Happy birthday. A shout out to Pirate Timmy across the road, who's my neighbour. Oh, ah. A shout out to Holly and Co in Greytown. Um, birthday, Cooper Nicholson, that's turning eight. Florence Clements, turning three. Daniel Phillips, um, you're six. And that's right, your birth your mum was saying your birthday was cancelled yesterday. I think you were going to cloud nine. So hopefully when we get back to normal, we'll be, be able to do that. And a big hi to my friend Pam, Pam Greenlee. Hope you're well, Pam. That's our private joke. She knows that, children. Um, and i just, just checking, I think that's everyone. So great. I'll just pop that down there. Children, I'm just going to grab my magic pot. So I'll be right back in three, two, one seconds. Righty ho. Got some magic sprinkles here today, see? Oh, uh, uh, I better put the lid on else it'll go everywhere. Okay, I'm going to take our fingers, children, say the magic words, wibbly wobbly, and shoom, there we have a birthday cake for everyone, so let's do our birthday song. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday everybody, happy birthday to you. Give yourselves a big round of applause, and I'll pop the sponge cake away and I'll be right back. And Leo Leggett, I hear you're two today. So happy birthday to you too, Leo. So thank you for dropping a line. Now, um, so I need a magic wand. Um, what colour's a magic wand? Black and white. No, I've got a silver wand. Goes well with my pirate show. It's made of solid silver. And my dad said to make it work, you take the wand, you bang it on this owl, not your head, bang it on the side of the owl, you bang it on the table to ring like a bell. Does that sound like a bell? No, does that sound owl? Hold on, I'll just give it a polish. Oh, here we go. Oh, a sail all night and a sail all day. Oh, la, 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 la. Are you laughing at my la la's? How rude. I'll give it a polish. La la la. All right, I was just having you on. Now, boys and get at, oh, hang on. Boys and girls, what we're gonna at, behave yourself there. What I'm gonna do, ow. Look, I'm gonna have to pop this silly magic wand away because ow, it's stuck up my nose. Hang on. Don't pull things up your noses. <laughs> okay, I'll pop that ow. I'm going to pop that away, children, because it's far too silly. Down you go. Right. Now, I'm just going to put my glove on, because do you know why I've got to put this on? Something might scratch me. I'll ask you a question, children. What sort of pet does a pirate have? Have a think. What sort of pet would a pirate have? What? That's right, a carrot. Do you want to meet my pet carrot? You do? All right, stay right there. I'll just go and grab her. She's just sitting on the sideline here. 
Right, here we go. Okay, children, here we go. Say hello to Polly, my pet carrot. What? Why are you laughing? What do you mean? You wanted to see my pet carrot? This is my pet carrot. Oh, she's very nice. What, do you want to... Cr what? Oh, Polly wants a cracker. Was I having you guys on? Of course. Look, I'm going to pop my pet carrot away. I'll put my other glove, glove on and I'll grab my parrot, all right? So I'll just... Look, I'll just pop you away. Just hold on there. Goodness gracious me, I don't know what's going on today. Here we go. Right. Are you ready, Mr. Feathers? You are? Got him out of the cage. You can sit on my arm. Okay. And um, here we are. Say hi to Mr. Feathers. Say hi. Use your words. Shall we do a pirate song? Anchors away. <laughs> oh, I say the night and I say the day. I dance and sing in a pirate way. I say, ah, I say, you, who, who, you, who, who, the seven seas is a long way to go. Thank goodness we don't have to fly, Zappel. Well, my arms would get very sore, Mr. Feathers. My wings, too, Zappel. I never thought so, Mr. Oh, I read the map and look where to go. The treasure's close. I want it. I know. Let's wiggle our fingers and say magic words. Wibbly wobbly. Now our boat's sailing faster than the birds. Ooh. I can see the audience. Land ahead, drop anchor, Mr. Bland. That was a big plop. We're here. We are here in Facebook land. This is my pet carrot, Mr. Feathers. Parrot. Oh, sorry, my pet carrot, Mr. Feathers. No, parrot. Oh, do you want a carrot, Mr. Feathers? What? No, Zeppo, I'd like a nice cup of tea. Oh, strange time for a cup of tea, Mr. Feathers. Well, after the show. Well, I'll make you a nice cup of tea after the show. Thank you, Zeppo. Oh, you're very welcome. You're very kind. Well, kindness makes magic happen. That's what I tell the children. Be kind to people, the kind back. <gasps> I feel a song coming on. Every pirate has a parrot. Every parrot needs a home. And when we are together, they make magic, magic of their home. own. Sitting on my arm, he whispers very silly jokes. Go and tell them a joke. Why can't you tease an egg? Oh, I don't know. Because it cannot take a yolk. Oh, you're so funny, Mr. Feathers. You crack me up. I know. Hands up who's got pets at home. Hands down. So if you have a pet at home, look after it for sure. Cause creatures are just like you and me. They need love and much more. Cause creatures are just like you and me. They need love and much more. Fresh water, good food, and if they can run or walk, exercise every day. Isn't that right, Mr. Feathers? Okay, well, look, say goodbye to the boys and girls because we've got to get on. Use your very kind words. Go on. Goodbye to the boys and girls. Say bye, Mr. Feathers. Bye. I'll just pop him away. Here we go. Back into your cage. There we are. Go into your cage. Oh, that's good. Yes. No, no, no. Don't bite me. Oh, <laughs> he just nipped my finger. I think he's hungry. Right. Do you want to see the treasure I found the other day in the garden? Look, it's full in here. Uh, oh, hang on, where was all those pirate coins? I lost, oh my goodness gracious me. Uh, oh dear, I've lost them. Some pirates pinched them. Right, I need a coin. Children, do any of you have any coins on you? What? You do? Oh, thanks, Arthur. Arthur in Facebook land. Right, stand up, Arthur. Off the couch. Yep, right, stand up like that. Okay. Take your hand, use your imagination, take your finger and thumb, grab a coin from behind your ear, like that, okay, and throw it to me on the count of three, ready? One, two, three, throw out the tin. Oh, very good, oh, thanks, Arthur. Right, I'll just pop that one there. Okay, Arthur, can I have one from the other side, please? On the count of three, Arthur, you ready? One, two, three, catch. Oh, very good, oh, lovely, right, we're doing well. Oh, look, hang on. I'll Oh, it's one there, hang on. Oh, there we are. You see the coin? I'll pop the coin in there. Oh, they've got, oh, there's another one there, see? 
Oh, that was doing really well. Right, Arthur, stand up straight. I want you to jump up and down on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three, jump. Oh, thanks, Arthur. Great. Right, I'll pop those coins there. That's it. Now, we take this coin, okay? Guys, take your magical fingers. I want you to say the magic words. Wobbly, wobbly. Can you do that for me, please? On the count of three. Are you ready? One, two, three. Say wobbly, wobbly. And look, turns into a big coin so you can see it. So I'll just pop that thing down there because I don't need that thing. Right. Let's do a trick with a coin. So um, I need a uh, banana. No, not a banana. What's it called? Oh, a bandana. Right, I've got a bandana here, a bandana. Can you say bandana? There we go. Oh, it's nice. And we can put the bandana on the coin. We can tap it with a magic wand. It can vanish and land on the front of my head. Right, like that. Now, I'll just grab a magic wand. Hold on. Where's my magic wand? Okay, there we go. Right, we'll grab that magic wand. Uh, uh, oh. There we go. So we'll take that. So I'm going to take uh, the... Sorry about that. Ow! Oh, wait. Oh, that's no good. Hold on. Right. Um, oh, we'll just leave the magic one. Right, we'll take the bandana. Uh, oh, no! Uh-oh. Holy, holy moly! How am I going to blow my nose? Right, um, I need to fix this. I know what I can do. I'll just grab a fix-it bag. I've got a fix-it bag here. Here we go. Right, anything in the bag? No. Pop that in the bag. Right, I'll grab a magic wand. Here we go. We'll take this magic, ow. Oh, that hurt my head. We'll take the magic wand, wave it around. Can you say the magic words, wibbly wobbly, please? Very good, and uh, Oh, uh-oh, what's that? What? Oh, no. Big holy moly, can you say that? This is a magical emergency. When we have a magical emergency, the Ministry of Magic says I'm allowed to use the fix-it bag. Shall I get the proper fix-it bag? Okay, hold on. Right, it's a bag on the, uh, where is it? Oh, here we go, right here. Right, we'll open up the bag. Da -ba -da -ba. And pop the bag there. Right, on the count of three, you ready? One, two, three. Can you say wobbly wibbly? Uh, oh. Uh oh. Hang on a minute. Did I just tell you to say wobbly wibbly? I was supposed to say wibbly wobbly. Now I've said wobbly wibbly. The wibbly wobbly won't work because the wobbly wibbly is taken over the wibbly wobbly. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we have to start again. Um, oh, what's that? Oh, it's a red uh, sock. Oh, hang on. <coughs> Who's lost a smelly sock? Oh, it's got a name on it. A-R-T-H. Arthur, is it yours? Oh, well, I'll send it to you in the mail. Oh, it's left a note. Oh, what's that say? Shall we read it out together, guys? Say, it's in your hat. It's in your poor tie. Anyone got a hat? Who's got a hat? I need to find someone with a hat. Um, uh, oh, I've got a hat. Anything in my hat? There's nothing in my hat. What do you mean? Where? Eh, oh, hold on a minute. Is it all fixed? It is fixed. Oh my gosh, give yourselves a big round of applause. Thank you so much for fixing the bandana. Right, I'll pop that away there. <clears throat> Goodness gracious me. Oh, look at the sneeze. Hold on, a good bit of hay fever. <laughs> oh, I sneezed up a donut. <laughs> oh, I'll have that for my morning tea. Oh, sorry about that, children. But remember, children, if we sneeze or cough, tell me where we do it. Into our elbow pocket, there like that. <coughs> And that keeps any silly germs and makes them vanish there. So good on you for that. Right. It's pirate story time. I'll tell you an old pirate story. Are you ready? You are. Okay. Oh, ah. Now, when I visit kindergartens or early childhood centres, a lot of people, a lot of people have mat time. Hands up who has mat time. Very good. And at mat time, we have some rules. So can I give you my rules for my story today, children? Thank you. I'll just grab them. Here we go. Are you ready? Hold up your high five and say, for my Lima. Say, give me five. So when we're watching the story today, if you're sitting 
on the couch or on the floor. First of all, rule number one, sit on your kumu. We do that at nap time, don't we? Sit on our bottom, right? Very cool. Okay, have you got that? Okay. Rule number two, cross your YY. That means cross your legs, very good. Rule number three, hoi hoi. That means take your finger, go shh, nice and quiet. Shh, it means hoi hoi means shh. And I will say, don't wake the baby. Number four, fuck along am I? Two, listen. And number five, to tito my to look. I will say eyes on the teacher. So we've got those five, and then we can have a great story. So I'll just put that down there. And the story goes like this. Once a time upon, uh, is that right? No, sorry, we start again. Once a pudding upon, no, hang on. Once a time upon a pudding or once a pudding upon a time? How does the story start? Oh, thank you. <laughs> but <laughs> this happened a long time ago before once upon a time. There's no puddings in the story. I'll start again. Once upon a time, there was a lovely lady in a big castle. Her name was called Lady Clarabella Porkchop. Now, Lady Clarabella Porkchop owned a beautiful necklace. Because it was worth a lot of money, she kept it on a stand in a locked cupboard. So when she went to a party, up the stairs she went, unlocked the cupboard, opened up the cupboard, took the necklace off the stand, and wore it for a party. When she got home, up the stairs she went, popped it back on the stand, and she locked up the cupboard. Now, children, I'm going to tell you what happened to it in the story. I'll just hold the necklace there. One day she wanted to wear the necklace, so up the stairs she went, unlocked the cupboard, opened up the cupboard, and to her horror, the necklace was gone. When she saw it was gone, she let out a, give, a big scream. Can you give me a big scream? Ah! Not too loud as we scared the neighbours. The necklace had been stolen off the stand by the most fearless pirate in the land. Do you know what his name was? Oh, this is a very scary name. Do you like being scared? So you won't sleep tonight. A thing we learn at kindergarten or early childhood centres I visit is a word called courage. I'm going to teach you what courage is. So take your hand like that, cross your heart, and repeat after me. I have courage to listen to this scary name. And I promise not to cry. And I promise to eat my vegetables every day of the week. You are strong children. The name of the scary pirate that stole the necklace was called Fruit Salad Fred. That's so scary. Can you go, oh, ah. Now, Fruit Salad Fred took the necklace, popped it into his pirate loot bag, got on his pirate boat, and he said, Oh, ah. He sailed the seven seas, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, to the other side of the world to sell the necklace to another pirate at the market called Rotten Rose. When Lady Clarabella Porkchop found out the necklace was gone, you know what she did? She started to cry like this. Boo-hoo, boo-hoo, boo-hoo. And a big teardrop fell out of her eye, hit the floor, and there was a huge explosion. There were sparkles and spangles and pixie dust and fairy dust and thunder and lightning smoke and boys and girls, ladies and jelly spoons. Oh, sorry, boys and girls, ladies and jam sandwiches, jumbo bins, pickled onions, what the cold? Gentlemen, sorry. Through the smoke stood a beautiful old lady wearing a nice dress, waving a magic wand. Do you know what her name was? The fairy godmother. The fairy godmother stood there and said, What's wrong, my child? She said, Someone has stolen my necklace. I think it's fruit salad Fred. Can you go, oh, ah? So you know what the fairy godmother did? She got all the children in the world to raise your hands. Raise those hands, y'all. Raise those hands. And go, whoosh. And they say, whoosh, two things happened. On the other side of the world, that horrible pirate, was about to sell the stolen necklace. He opened up the bag, looked inside, and he went, oh. He popped his hand in the bag, he pulled it out, and he went, oh. He couldn't see the necklace. So you know what he did? He was so strong and mean, he ripped the bag apart like this, and the necklace had completely gone. 
Meanwhile, back at the castle, Lady Clarabella Porkchop walked up the stairs, opened up the empty cupboard. Was the necklace back on the stand? It was. And like all good stories, everyone lived happily ever after, except for the pirate. And do you know what happened to him? The fairy godmother took a magic wand and went whoosh. Can you go whoosh again? He was sent away to a very special place. It was called the land of stinky nappies. Oh! Where the rest of his life he had to wear a clothes peg on his nose and talk blankness. So give yourselves a big clap for a happy ending. Thank you. Uh oh. Oh no! The peg stuck on my nose. I'm going to talk like this forever. Don't put pegs on noses. And that's the story of Lady Clarabella Porkchop. Right. How are we going for time? Let's just check my watch. Oh, and I've got a special hi to Harmony Branson from Tulsa and Oklahoma. Wow. Hello. Oklahoma. Oh my goodness gracious. That brings back lovely memories. Right. There's a beautiful show called Oklahoma many years ago. Now, children, I'm just going to clean the decks here because it's almost time to say goodbye. What's that? Oh, oh, oh it's a fish. <laughs> oh my God, it's great. Oh, 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 a bit of a face. Hang on. Oh, goodness. Pirates love fish. Now, the Maori word for fish, can you go ika? Ika. Let's say it three times. Ika. 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 And that's Maori for fish. And food from the sea, can you say kaimawana? Kaimawana. Kapa. Right, I'll put Ika back. We're going on a pirate hunt. Yay! We're going on a pirate hunt. Let me just grab what I need. Just need to grab that from there. And that one there. Okay. We're going on a pirate treasure hunt now. So boys and girls, I want you to sit on the carpet if you're watching. So I'll just wait for you to do that. Just while I grab a couple of things I need. Beautiful. Excellent, guys. Right. Take your hands. I want you to go row, row, and away we go. We'll sail the seven seas. Try that. Row, row, and away we go. We'll sail the seven seas. We're magical pirates looking for treasure. We're magical pirates looking for treasure. And treasure's what they'll be. Oh, ah. So close your eyes, guys. We're going to use our imagination. Imagination is a great thing. I love my imagination. Here we go. Keep your eyes closed till I tell you to open them again. Open up your eyes. Here we go. Row again. Listen to the storyteller. Treasure and treasures, what they'll bring. He's 
stairs in this only stairs in size a treasure map oh what a prize he needs it all to find the jewels now zeppo needs his magic tools but we won't be hands in his magic fingers too the map restores to one beast not a few a pirate plan with an x so black zeppo marks it on the map whoa whoa Set sail, here we go. Help me dig, guys. Four more decks. Oh, there's a treasure! Look! Are there rubies close at hand? Which is vast, no longer hid. Zappo opens up the lid. But oh, there's nothing, the treasure's gone. Zappo knows that's oh, no. wrong. The casket's empty, not a gem. Zappo has been tripped again. No treasure? I've got an idea. Stay there. A little magic is sprinkling stars. Zappo can feel that the gold is not far. Wibbly wobbly in a flickering zone. The treasure appears. The quest is won. The moral of this tale is one I must share. Go to the library and go anywhere. Zip away an adventure. Who knows what you'll find? All you need is a book. And a book in your mind. Give yourselves a big clap for finding the long last treasure. Wow, what a great loot find we found with that, boys and girls. Okie dokie, I'd like you now to all stand up. Etu Tamalikima. We're going to finish off with the wibbly wobbly song. I'll just get right there like that. Shake out your ringer ringers. Now, before we do the Wibbly Wobbly song, a big shout out to Brody Barrett, who loves the show. Hi, Brody, and Darby Smythe. A big pirate welcome to you guys. Right, marching on the spot, Tamalikima. Here we go. <laughs> Wibbly wobbly, wibbly wobbly, this is what you do. Wiggle all your fingers and the magic will come to you. Wibbly wobbly, wibbly wobbly, you can do it too. Wiggle all your fingers and the magic will come to you. Wiggle your pinkies, fingers and thumbs and the magic will come to you. Now Zappo, the magician, he wanted a new hat. So he opened his book of magic spells and out jumped a cat. The cat's name was spellbound, his eyes were bright blue. He turned to Zappo, smiled and said, this is what you do. Wibbly wobbly, wibbly wobbly, this is what you do. Wiggle all your fingers and the magic will come to you. Wibbly wobbly, wibbly wobbly, you can do it too. Wiggle all your fingers and the magic will come to you. Wiggle your pinkies, fingers and thumbs and the magic will come to you. Now Zappo's wing helper, Arthur was his name. He put a spell upon the cat, but he still stayed the same. He waved a magic wand, but it broke into two. The cat turned smiled and said, Arthur, this is what you do. Wibbly wobbly, wibbly wobbly, this is what you do. Wiggle all your fingers and the magic will come to you. Wibbly wobbly, wibbly wobbly, you can do it too. Wiggle all your fingers and the magic will come to you. Wiggle your pinkies, fingers and thumbs, and the magic will come to you. Now this is the end of the story and show. We hope you've enjoyed it too. Zappo, turn the cat into a hat. That's what Wibbly Wobbly will do. Wiggle all your fingers and say the magic words. Because Wibbly Wobbly, it will change the bees into the birds. 
Wibbly wobbly wibbly wobbly, this is what you do. Wiggle all your fingers and the magic will come to you. Wibbly wobbly wibbly wobbly, you can do it too. Wiggle all your fingers and the magic will come to you. Wiggle your pinkies, fingers and thumbs, the magic will come to you. It'll come to you. Roll in the magic, guys. Throw it back to the hat. And give yourselves a big round of applause. Well, boys and girls, you guys have sat so well, good 40 minutes, so thank you for sitting so well. Give yourselves a pat on the shoulder. Be kind to each other. I'll see you back here tomorrow, and tomorrow it's going to be Superhero! So I'll say, Kaki Tano, bye-bye!